friends, Anne from The Useless Crafter. Thanks for joining. Today, I'm going to show you how to handle really, really thin fonts. I mean, we all love them, um, but they're really difficult to work with. So let's get started. I'm going to show you and you're going to love it. Um, okay, so I picked out two fonts that I thought were on the thinner side. Um, they're from Creative Fabrica. So of course, when you go into fonts, when you click on text, it, you get your text box. And then you're going to go up to font to pick your font. Because it's a font that I downloaded myself, you're going to go into system and search for it. The first one is called Farmhouse. And you'll probably agree with me that it's pretty thin. It's thin on the thin side. So I'm going to type in Charlotte. So you're going to double click on it and then type it in. So you can see it's it's not the thinnest font, but this is also at 10 inches. So if you were to make it smaller, it would be on the thinner side, especially if you're dealing with, um, I guess in this case, I mean, pretty much any material would make it kind of difficult. So we've got one font up. Let's do the second font so I can show you. The second one is also one that I've downloaded and it is called Gone, Gone Stones. <laughs> Let's see if I can find it. Maybe not. Oh, there we go. Okay. And I'm going to also do Charlotte in this one so we can compare the two. Okay. Let's make this big so you can see too. Okay. I feel like both are pretty thin. What you want to do is click on the font and we're just going to give it an offset, but we're going to give it a really, really thin offset. I'm going to go with 0.01. And you can see, you can barely see that blue line and we're just going to apply. And that just makes it a little bit um, thicker. If you think that you're okay with here, then you're good to go. But if you wanted another one, let's just do one more so you could see, just to make sure like you were doing something really, really thin. So we're still going to keep it at 0 0.01 and then apply. And so you can see now I'm super confident that we can cut this in anything, but you still need to do one thing. You got to grab all of the layers and go to combine and weld. Okay, so now this one looks like, I mean, you still have that style, um, still whimsical and flimsy, but all of this is now um, just a little bit thicker. All right, so let's do the same thing for this one. I'm gonna move this out of the way and bring this one up. And let's go to offset and we're gonna, it keeps the same, um, if you're doing a lot of offsets, it will keep the same uh, measurement that you had before, but sometimes it'll start over. So, all right, let's apply. And I feel like that's pretty good, but let's just do one more. Okay, now, if you have not welded, then what you can do is you can, you know, just keep, maybe you realize the third one's too much. So what you do is grab all three of them, align and center it so it's all right there. If you think that's too thick, just go to this offset and delete it. Right? That's pretty good right there, I think. Let's grab that and don't forget to weld. Easy peasy, right? All right, our next step is when you go, because if you were doing this really small, let's say like that, the next trip is, the next, the next tip is if you had a lot of text, um, what I would do is I would put a little text box around it and that just means getting a rectangle. And you're going to just, I'm gonna go over here. Let's close out that box. Click on your rectangle and we're gonna unlock it so that we can just stretch it out this way to make sure we get the name. And then I would arrange this and send it to the back just so that you could see it. So it covers it. You can make this a little bit smaller if you wanted to. And just make sure it's right there. And if you grab these two items and you attach it, what will happen is basically your machine is going to cut a rectangle around Charlotte. So when you go to weed it, you can weed out this, um, this rectangle and you're left with just your text. And so it's a lot easier than trying to grab one big piece. Like if you were doing one rectangular long piece, it's a lot to manage with, um, especially adhesive vinyl. Uh, with HTV, I think it's a little bit easier to handle, but this just makes it easier for you to weed it out. Um, so same thing with this one. If you put, let's go back to shapes, rectangle. You have your rectangle here and um, you want to, oops, did I not, let me close this out. There we go. Select the rectangle, um, unlock it so that we can make it 
wider. And then if you send this to the back, then you can see if you want to make any adjustments. If you want to make the rectangle a little bit smaller. And then the important thing is on this one, I'm not going to attach so I can show you what that looks like. Okay. So I think all of these, yep, they're all the same color. Okay. So let's go to make it. Don't save. All right, so when I go to make it, you can see that the attached one has this, the rectangle around the name. The unattached does not have it. It's just, it's it wants to cut a rectangle and then it wants to cut the name Charlotte, okay? So that's why it's important on this one because grouping won't work either. So like, let's just group it so that you can see it, okay? Let's go to the make it screen and you can see same thing. Grouping does not do it. The only thing that will get it to cut exactly the way you want it to is to attach it. So we're gonna grab these two items and attach. And that's all there is to it. So when you go to make it, now if this is HTV, don't forget to mirror. Um, and then you cut and it's gonna be easy. Now the other nice thing is if you did it this way is that you could, it's easy to keep your scraps. You could just you know cut out this little piece and you would have the rest of it and you're, it's not up to you to cut it nice and neat. So <laughs> just one extra little, um, little benefit. All right, that's all I have for you. I wanted to share that because I think that this holiday season with Christmas, I feel like with Christmas, it's more whimsical. You have those beautiful fonts, but sometimes it's too thin. So I didn't want you to have a headache trying to do all your projects. All right, see you next time. Bye.